about how much food is in there, it's hurting. It doesn't know what to do with it. I, I do try and like, put the dreaded moment when I'm going to, to the bathroom off, so I just find it so hard to deal with. Right. I need to put some milk in this. If it's too hot and I start eating it, I can burn myself. And that makes me cross if I'm getting burnt and it being really mm. and the one thing I've got to do is put my potatoes in now. Right, so I'm on my food bit but my next bit's ready. Which is green. Mm. Mm. That's it really. I can go and enjoy my soup now. Mm -hmm. My sister keeps reminding me of how she used to look through the stairs and she used to see my mum just jumping on top of me. Just like getting in the corner between the fridge and the cooker, or, you know, a cup of, and she just jump, just jump on top of me, to all the wind and all the life out of me. And she'd like, then it was like, I never fought back and I didn't make much noise. And I, I mean, I don't remember there being any noise other than maybe her screaming and yelling. And I'd just go to the bathroom and I'd look in the mirror and I'd like, I'd see one cheek and one tear rolling down it. Not lots of tears, just one. And then the next day she'd say, she'd say, oh, sorry about that yesterday. I was in a bad mood, but you understand. And then I'd go to the bathroom and I'd really cry in the mirror. Because I didn't understand. No, I did everything for my mum. But it was never enough. Now she said to me when I was 16, you're my best friend you are. And I remembered crying for days after that. I didn't want a best friend, I wanted my mum. Mm. One day, just things things happened at home that might like, shouldn't have happened, yeah. And uh, it, it's easier to talk talk about it, like I don't know. <coughs> well, like I just really, like, I think I well, no, I did love my dad. There's no like, my dad like was nice to me, whereas my mum wasn't nice to me, yeah. Like my dad took me up sometimes. In fact, he took me out lots of times, right? Um, always when I came back, mum used to say, what did daddy do, what did daddy do? And I never wanted, I don't, 
initially I like thought, well, why did she say that to me? And I, I started thinking, well, why did she say that to me? What on earth was she expecting Daddy to? Like, why did I feel so blooming awful when she said that? And then, like, one day she had to go out, and then she left me and David, that's my brother in the house. Right? And, you know, like, we were in, all three of us in the bedroom upstairs, and there was... My mum had two little babies, me and my brother, and she was pregnant, early pregnant. Yeah. And she'd taken the little ones out, I don't know where they'd gone, but there's me and my brother. And, well, my dad abused us, he said she abused us, he assaulted us, he abused us, yeah. And, um, Daddy was crying a lot. And it wasn't right, it was really not right. I was supposed to look after these children, these little ones. And so my mum came in, my dad was far from me, but we managed to get off the bed and we went downstairs. And uh, as we were going downstairs, I was trying to keep my brother quiet, because we only had lino and or wooden floors, he didn't have carpet then. And I had to tell my mum what my dad just did. And it's like, it's because he'd hurt David, and David shouldn't be crying, and he'd done it all wrong. So anyway, it was really hard, because on the one hand, I loved my dad. On the other hand, he hurt David, and that wasn't part of the rules. when they were putting him into a police car in the back, you know. So when we got to the station, the police doctor, it's like he's dead now, I remember him, it's Dr Jarvis. He examined my brother and like, that wasn't good news really. And then he said to me, does she need to be examined? My mum looked at me to say, shut your face or else. And that's it. And then, so my dad went to prison, basically he abused my brother full stop and like in the last you know few years my brother tells me that when he's got a girlfriend my mum rings up and says they don't want to go with him his father bothered him you don't know what he'll be up to next that's what she says about my brother to both of us she used to say you're just like your father you are and we both took that to mean that we were we were abusers you know that we were dirty disgusting people on the day that we went to the police station, though, she let me know that um, that it was all right for me, that that was okay, that nothing untoward, nothing out of the ordinary, extra, nothing extraordinary had happened. Like what what happened was supposed to happen, except for it shouldn't have happened to David too. Okay. They're only doing this all night. I get... Sometimes I talk to the cat and sometimes I just go crazy and I, I think I'm yelling to myself, but, you know. I'm pretty sure most of it's inside my head. It's easier for me to use... silly words for bits of the body, or in a lot of cases, no words. And I could never actually say as a grown-up, graphically, what my dad did in words, I couldn't. Or what I started to remember my mum was doing, 